examples on vector representation in rectangular form. In this lecture, we will discuss some examples of vector representation in IJK form and we will see what is the meaning of these vectors in terms of their magnitude and direction. So the first example is 1. R vector is equal to I cap plus J cap. R is the position of any particle. It means that first we move I cap in the direction of X axis. So this is the I cap vector. And then we will move J cap in the direction of Y axis. So this is the direction of J cap. Our final position from the starting point is the vector I cap plus J cap. So this is the vector, R vector is equal to I cap plus J cap. When I say R vector is equal to I cap plus J cap, I mean this vector. This vector has a magnitude. This vector has a direction. If the vector makes an angle theta with the x-axis, it is very easy for us to find that the magnitude of R will be equal to under root of 1 square plus 1 square which will be equal to root 2 from the Pythagoras theorem and the angle that this vector will make with the x-axis will be equal to tan theta equal to 1 divided by 1 that will be equal to 1 that means theta will be equal to 45 degree thus a vector i cap plus j cap is a vector whose magnitude is root 2 and whose direction with the x-axis is 45 degree next example example number 2 suppose the force acting on a body is 3 and i cap plus 2 and j cap that means first we have to move 3n in the x direction so this is the 3n vector and then we have to move 2n in the y direction the vector from the starting point to the ending point will represent the vector 3n i cap plus 2n j cap thus this is the vector 3n i cap plus 2n j cap as we can see it has its own magnitude it has its own direction the magnitude of this vector is very easy for us to find from the Pythagoras theorem. It will be equal to under root of 3 square plus 2 square which will be equal to root 30 and the direction which this vector makes with the x-axis will be given by tan theta will be equal to 2 by 3 where this is the angle theta which the vector makes with the x-axis. Next example, example number 3. The velocity of a particle is given by 8 meter per second i cap minus 6 meter per second j cap it means that first we move 8 meter per second in x direction then we move minus 6 meter per second in the y direction that means we actually move in the negative y direction the vector from the starting point to the ending point will be given by v vector equal to 8 meter per second i cap minus 6 meter per second j cap. So this is the vector v vector equal to 8 meter per second i cap minus 6 meter per second j cap. As we can see, it has its own magnitude and it has its own direction. The magnitude is very easy for us to find from the Pythagoras theorem. It will be equal to under root of 8 square plus 6 square and that will be equal to 10 meter per second. And the direction can also be found tan theta is equal to 6 divided by 8 that will be equal to 3 by 4. And thus we know the magnitude, we know the direction. The vector v is equal to 8 meter per second i cap minus 6 meter per second j cap is this vector which has a magnitude of 10 and which makes an angle of theta equal to tan inverse 3 by 4 from the x-axis in the downward direction. The next example, example number 4, we are going to discuss four vectors, a1 vector, a2 vector, a3 vector and a4 vector such that a1 vector is equal to i plus j cap, a2 vector is equal to i cap minus j cap, a3 vector is equal to minus i cap plus j cap and a4 vector is equal to minus i cap minus j cap. These are four different vectors and we will see that all of them have same magnitude but 
all of them have different directions. So first of all, let us focus on the A1 vector. A1 vector is given by I cap plus J cap. We'll first move I cap in the X axis direction and then we will move J cap in the Y axis direction. The vector from the starting point to the ending point will represent the A1 vector which is equal to I cap plus J cap. Thus, I cap plus J cap is this vector. Now let us look at A2 vector. A2 vector is equal to I cap minus J cap. We will first move I cap in the X axis direction and then we will move minus J cap in the Y axis direction. The vector from the starting point to the ending point will be the A2 vector which is equal to I cap minus J cap. Now let us look at A3 vector. A3 vector is equal to minus I cap plus J cap. We will first move minus I cap in the X axis direction which will in fact be in the negative X direction and then we will move J cap in the Y axis direction. The displacement from the starting point to the ending point will be the vector A3 which is equal to minus I cap plus J cap. So this is the vector A3 vector. Now let us look at A4 vector which is equal to minus I cap minus J cap. We will first move minus I cap in the negative X direction. Then we will move minus J cap in the negative Y direction. The vector from the starting point to the ending point will be represented by A4 vector which is equal to minus I cap minus J cap. Thus, these four vectors A1 vector, A2 vector, A3 vector and A4 vector are different vectors. They have different directions. But the magnitude of this vector in all the cases will be same and that will be equal to root 2 from the Pythagoras theorem. Thus, A1 vector modulus equal to A2 vector modulus equal to A3 vector modulus equal to A4 vector modulus will be equal to root 2. All of them therefore are vectors of equal magnitude but different directions. And finally, example number 5. Any plane vector can be represented by a vector equal to ax i cap plus a y j cap. How is that we are going to find this vector in magnitude and direction? We will first move AX I cap in the X direction and then we will move AYJ cap in the Y direction. The vector from the starting point to the ending point will be represented by the A vector. Thus, this is the A vector equal to AX I cap plus AYJ cap. It has its own magnitude. It has its own direction. The magnitude is very easy for us to find. It will be equal to A modulus will be equal to root AX square plus root AY square. And the direction this vector AXI cap plus AYJ cap makes with the X axis can also be very easily found. It will be represented by the angle theta such that tan theta will be equal to AY by AX. Notice here that in this representation of vector ax is the component of vector in x direction and that will be equal to a cos theta and ay is the component of vector in y direction and that will be equal to a sin theta. Thus ax and ay represent the component of the vector in x and y direction.